fellow YouTubers. I had a, a couple of comments on some of my videos, and basically the gist of it was, uh, well, the, the people who said these things are people who are anonymous trolls, who have been trolls in the past, and are continue to be trolls. They, I don't know their face, I don't know their name, I don't know who they are, yet at the same time they're going to sit there and they're going to try to assure me that they have my best interest at heart. <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> do I really look that stupid? I mean, um, think about it. Okay, first of all, uh, you know, these people have said that their goal is to ruin my credibility, ruin my reputation, ruin uh, everything, uh, any chance that I have of becoming a YouTube partner or becoming a celebrity or anything else like that. And they're going to claim that they know me. They don't know me. Uh, these people are not, not my friends. Uh, in order to be my friend, you have to treat me with respect, kindness, love, etc. If you want to be my friend, you have to be honest with me about a lot of things. If you want to be friends with me, you cannot hide behind the screen name. I don't know, some people are going to say, Well, wasn't Happy Cabby your friend? Uh, you know, I thought he was. And then, um, you know, he told me he didn't want me to help pay, pay rent. So I didn't pay rent. Yet that's one of his biggest accusations against me, that I never paid rent. Uh, and then, when there was nobody coming in whatsoever, he demanded sex in exchange for me to live there. Uh, I said, no, I'm not going to sleep with you. And then he said, if you don't sleep with me, I'll make sure that uh, you never work with uh, anybody on YouTube again. I, I want to make sure that, you know, that you'll never be a success, etc., etc., etc. And, you know, he's done a pretty damn good job of that. He's done a pretty good job of that. Because him and other people have become a negative PR department. You know how like a PR department will do everything it can to put the person that they represent in a positive light and keep the negative, you know, under the radar? I've got the opposite of that. I have an entire crew of people who are self-appointed PR people who everything negative, everything that they can twist into something negative, they do it. So I am a complete pariah on YouTube. Nobody wants to work with me. They don't even acknowledge me uh, because they think that I'm some kind of, uh, you know, psychotic. You know, I mean, especially with the death threat video things, every time I talk about how that was never a death threat, every time I try to explain the situation, the video gets flagged and it gets pulled and my channel goes down because I sit there and try to defend myself against accusations and my PR department, uh, none of whom uh, were employed by me. Uh, they're all faceless, nameless cowards for the most part. So, you know, then, then they'll claim that they're my friend, and then they'll claim that they're, you know, that they're, that they're trying to help me become a better person. Bullshit. You don't help somebody become a better person by, by destroying any possibility they have of being a better person. You don't, you don't make somebody a better person by, by uh, telling everybody around them that they're a monster. I mean, it's a form of social ostracism. But see, here's the thing that I don't understand. Okay, if, if, in, you know, in the old days, if you were socially ostracized, the old days, if you were socially ostracized, you had a certain town or a certain area, you could always move and start over, and nobody would, you could start over completely. Nobody would ever know about your past. The problem nowadays is I could move to fucking Siberia and anybody with an internet connection could see all the negative stuff about me and because it's kept in the present moment, uh, it would just be a matter of time. So it's like, 
what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? I mean, it just it doesn't make any fucking sense. Um, and it's, just, it's frustrating because I don't know who these people are. Yet, these people claim to be, you know, it's just, it, I, I'm struck by the resemblance to Greek myth that it has, where I have these invisible beams above me who seem to know everything I'm doing at every moment. And I'm just the powerless, helpless mortal who just keeps getting my ass kicked. And for what purpose? Are these people trying to blackmail me? No. Are they trying to teach me a lesson of some kind? Hell no. Are they trying to be my friends? Of course not. They're doing it for their own amusement. Uh, which should indicate to anybody with a brain that these are some pretty sick people. And sadly, Google YouTube isn't going to help me out because I, I've discovered that a couple of these people who are attacking me are employees of Google YouTube. They're making money for Google YouTube. So again, the positive PR department that they have is, you know, it, uh, that's another thing. You know, for example, Happy Cabby makes a video about, you know, it's International Anti-Bullying Week. Wait a minute. Happy Cabby has sock accounts, I know for a fact, where he bullies people. Oh, it's like, I mean, the hypocrisy is breathtaking. I mean, you know, I'm in a pretty bad position right now. I mean, I, I, I can't even, I don't, I don't even have the income to get my teeth fixed. And as far as if I wanted to find a place to live, uh, every place it either has, you know, they either want like, you know, a five hundred dollar, they want deposits, they want, they want all, they want a lot of money for you to move in at all. And then if you don't have good credit or if you don't have a good work history or whatever, it becomes even more difficult to find a place to live. Somebody might say, well, why don't you just move into some kind of uh, sober living? Well, first of all, I'm not an alcoholic. Secondly, if you move into one of those places, you have to go, uh, I, I've ch I looked at one of them actually, and you, I would have to go to like uh, uh, three uh, self-help groups per week for drug addiction and various issues. I'm not a drug addict. I don't have psychological issues. So why would I bother being there? And another thing is I get these people who sit there, they go, contribute, contribute, contribute. How do I contribute if people look up my name, all they see is garbage, and they say, I don't want to work with this person because it says here on the computer that he's a violent schizophrenic, which I'm not, but they don't know that. I mean, I, 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 got, I got one friend and, uh, you know, his, his wife doesn't want anything to do with me. And why? Because her first impression of me was a YouTube video made by, uh, I think it was one of Happy Cabby's YouTube videos, of me. So it's like their first impression of me is, on a, is a video where I'm doing something silly and instead of looking at the original video and them saying, this is comedy, he's an actor, uh, they're looking at videos where, where something I'm doing as a comedian is mixed together with something that I'm doing philosophically and then the person who made the video is saying this is crazy quirky watch out he is a violent sociopath or a violent whatever how do, how do I even begin how do I even begin to rebuild my life when I can't even get people to associate with me again social ostracism again for what purpose I don't know I mean, it's just, you know, I'm, I'm going to end this video because I know it's a long one. You know, I, I really do need more friends and you people on YouTube who sit there and uh, hide behind usernames and hide behind uh, uh, a sock account, you're not my friends. And don't, don't even try to claim that you're my friends. Because that's just...
That's just so, such an obvious falsehood that it's just not even worth saying.